What's going on, folks? It's your boy EMP. I'm here to talk about my squad, those San Diego Chargers, and uh, what's going on. So, this, this is what I think about the San Diego Chargers for 2012 thus far. Okay, so for 2012, the Chargers still have a problem, and that problem is the fact that they can't stop the run. They haven't made any changes to the defense is going to get them to be able to stop the run. Now, when they play a team that can run the ball, it's really hard for them to win the game because they can't get the other team off the field. Uh, once the other team starts running well and then they go to the play action pass, San Diego's in all sorts of trouble. So, uh, you know, that's that's the big thing. You know, I know that the pass rush is another thing, but I think stopping the run is way more important. Getting Antonio Gray back is good. Uh, the young guys like Cam, oh, Cam Thomas, I couldn't remember his name. Cam Thomas, Von Martin, Corey Legit, or Legit, I should say. Having those guys there for another year is going to do nothing but make the team a lot better. Going out and getting uh, the linebacker, Jarrett, um, that's going to help. Uh, that should help anyway. We'll see. You know, it, it's funny because if you go back to the Steve Foley days, Steve Foley and Wade Phillips, of course, on you know the defensive coordinator side, Steve Foley was one player who energized the entire defense. And then after Steve Foley was out, uh, he was replaced by Sean Merriman. And then also... Uh, Sean Phillips stepped up a little bit, but he didn't replace Foley. Merriman did that. So, you know, bringing in Jared is basically the reason why I went into that long diatribe there was because if you bring in De you bring in uh, Jared, um, you know, his attitude uh, is going to make a big difference on, on the defense, I think, by itself. I think that the pass defense, I know a lot of people hate Eric Weddle. Uh, you know, I think the pass defense is going to be good. They need to get another cornerback. In the draft, I think I don't know if I'd like to see them go out and get a pass rusher or a cornerback. To be honest with you, I'm not sure which one they should do yet. But you know, they um, they got to do something on defense in the draft, big time. Uh, on the offensive side, you know, they got some good line, uh, good good wide receivers. Excuse me. I know that uh, Eddie Royal is uh, a guy that I, I've always looked at and thought was good. You know, in his first season, he had over a thousand yards, ninety catches. There's nothing that makes me think that he can't do it again. You know, when you, you take out uh, Jay Cutler and you put in, you know, these other guys, I think that, you know, not having Jay Cutler there really stifled his career and allowed the Chargers to go out and get him. And, um, you know, I think he, he can do some things in San Diego's offense, along with Robert Meacham, Vincent Brown. And you know Michael Floyd's probably not going to stay healthy, so all of those guys are going to get their opportunity. So what I would really like to see is either uh, Eddie Royal or Vincent Brown step up and be a number one type receiver, which I think both of them have the capability of doing. Now, if Michael Floyd doesn't get hurt, then you have a supreme wide receiver. I don't really think Michael Floyd's all that great inside the red zone, but outside of the red zone, he's supreme. You know, you're not losing anything with Vincent Jackson being gone if you have Michael Floyd there, but you lose a great deal uh, with uh, Vincent Jackson's departure in the red zone. San Diego pretty much proved it. Without Mr. Jackson in the red zone, they're not an effective offense. They can move the ball, but they can't get the ball into the end zone. So this is the one thing that I love. Now, I, you know, I'm really surprised, but also happy that the Chargers were able to recognize this, which, you know, I, I don't know why they didn't recognize it before, didn't didn't make a, an effort to go out and get this. They went out and signed uh, LeRon McClain, the true fullback LeRon McClain. Now, I have been saying for years that they were stupid for letting Andrew Pennick go when he was a, an effective, true fullback that learned under Lorenzo Neal. I mean, to me, that was just ass nine letting that guy go. And then you replace him with uh, Mike Tobert first and then uh, Jacob Hester after that. These guys aren't fullbacks. They're running backs. Jacob Hester is not a fullback. He's a running back. So they need to re-sign Jacob Hester and move him back to running back, which is his position, and stop playing around with that. But... At least they went out and got McLean. reason why that's big is because San Diego could not score in the red zone to save their life because they couldn't run the ball in the red zone like they could under LaDainian Thompson and Lorenzo Nell. They couldn't run the ball. If they're able to run the ball in the red zone, they're going to score probably 50 to 60 more points just on that alone. So I think going out and signing McLean was huge. And it's going to help Phillip Rivers out if there's a real pass or running game to go along with the passing game as well. Now, the other thing uh, was the special teams. Oh, my God, I love the addition of Eddie Royal for the special teams because Eddie Royal is a good punt returner, 
and the San Diego Chargers have no return game whatsoever. Goodman did get the one touchdown at the end of the season. Actually, he's a pretty good kick returner. He doesn't seem like he is, but he actually is pretty good and he doesn't fumble. So I think if you keep Richard Goodman at doing kick returns and then you add Eddie Royal for the punt returns, you got a phenomenal. And well, actually, you know, let's stop right there. Actually, Goodman is a good punt returner, too. They just haven't used him there for some reason. But uh, we know Eddie Royal is an explosive punt returner. Fantastic addition to the special teams. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with kicker. you got two good kickers. I know everyone hates Kading because he keeps missing in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, what's his name? Now, that shows you what kind of Chargers fan I am. I can't even remember uh, <laughs> the, uh, Nick Novak. Nick Novak, yeah, you know, he missed a uh, field going overtime when the Chargers lost the game. So, you know, I don't necessarily know that replacing Nate Kading, one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, is going to be a good idea. Usually when they let people go, it's a mistake. So like they let Darren Sproles go, mistake. Let um, Mike Turner go, mistake. Let Vincent Jackson go, yet to be seen whether that's a mistake or not. But I actually, I'm jumping around again, but the good thing about Vincent Jackson being gone, they were wise enough to say we need to get a real running game. But anyway, I just wanted to go on that quick rant about my charges. I'll holler at you later.